What's good, people? This is about that time to randomly relate, reverse rants, no hate. So, listen, I want to let me address something before I start the video that I really want to talk about. Because I was asked about this and it was a misquote. Yes, I know I've heard several people say they were trying to defend Lomachenko, saying even Devin Haney said Lomachenko would have beat um, Floyd as Pretty Boy Floyd. And you know, so you know, and, and okay, if Floyd's the one training him, and, and and for him to be honest, you know, to say that, you know, he's only being honest. He even see it. Okay, now, first off, let me correct you guys. One, Devin Haney never said that. Dan Raphael said it. You guys have watched or either seen the thumbnail on other channels, because I saw thumbnails and I never watched the video. Of these other guys Where it says Devin Haney says Lomachenko Beats Pretty Boy Floyd And I'm telling you Those channels that are saying that Are clickbaiting you To make you go oh shit and watch uh, I think it's uh, Whatever was it was it Fight Hype One of, I was watching Devin Haney being interviewed About the upcoming fight with Lomachenko he was asked, um, did he hear that Lomachenko said, that uh, Dan Raphael said that Lomachenko beats Pretty Boy Floyd? And Devin Haney said, I don't know about that. I don't know if I agree with all of that, right? Now, listen. First off, you got to remember something. The same thing you said. You know, he and he's being trained by Floyd. Exactly. Um, do you think that Floyd Mayweather would be happy with this guy actually even saying some stupid shit like that? Because that's, it would be completely stupid. The guy that's, and, and it would make Haney stupid and a traitor, but it'd make him two-faced and stupid. Why? Two-faced because Floyd give this man tips, help him sharpen up. Okay. And let's go back to when there was supposed to be words or some shit between Haney and Tank because Tank, I guess, uh, was said he felt some kind of way because Haney is a possible opponent for Tank and Floyd's working with him. Well, so, you know, Floyd and, and Haney has always had a cool relationship. Okay. Why the fuck would you say that? That would be, imagine, now put it like this. Imagine Floyd training, showing him tips and working with him and then saying, I don't think he could beat Loma. Right? You'd feel like, what the fuck? Okay. And not only that, if Haney felt that way, well, how stupid would you be to have a man train you that you don't think could beat the guy that you're about to fight. No different from people uh, saying, well, hey, Deontay Wilder knocked Malik Scott out. The dude pretended to be knocked out because he was scared and got no heart, or the fight was fixed, right? And that's your trainer. And people think that Malik Scott <laughs> is fine-tuning Deontay Wilder into a better fighter. I don't know. It's like the Keith Thurman thing. You guys still haven't seen the best version of Keith Thurman, but yet he's getting older and refuse to fucking fight, just talk shit and run his mouth. You know, all this shit that he says, and, and, and you know, Keith Thurman's a good talker, okay? But the dude, basically, we've seen him get his ass kicked by Pacquiao. We've seen him come back, take all his time off, fought Barrios. He won and hasn't done nothing. And then he has the nerve to say that he did Earl Spence a favor by not fighting him back in the day because he either beat him. No, you say that shit, but you know what? You never wanted to fight Errol. And if you guys, even now, I I, and I don't... Listen, Errol Spence has no reason to be afraid of none of those guys. But I believe it's more of a, you know what, motherfucker? Now, when I was calling you out, you know, you, you didn't want to fight. Now, all of a sudden, you know, you... you, you, you you, you got nothing going for yourself. So I'd be giving you an outlet to get back because Keith Thurman don't want to fight nobody unless there's a title on the line and big money. And that's why you see you see the motherfucker always in the gym, right? But he's not fighting anybody. So it's kind of like a revenge type thing as far as I'm concerned. With, eh. And all this talk about they were going to fight at 154 and all. So that's just been one crazy story with, with between when when it comes to Spence Crawford and, and Thurman, like it, it, it's just everything is it's all over the place. But 
Just saying, okay? Just saying. In that in that whole situation, people, it's like if if these guys really want to get in there and make a fight happen, okay? You have to show enthusiasm. But trying to find an excuse to not fight a guy and trying to belittle them doesn't that doesn't qualify you as being the best in your division or the best of your era or whatever. So all that fake shit that they talk about. Now, to get back to that to the point about Floyd, you know, or Devin Haney saying that nah that he would no that 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 Lomachenko would have beat Pretty Boy Floyd. No, he completely disagreed with that shit. But he's not gonna sit here and make too much of a conversation about it. Why? Because he has to fight Lomachenko. So basically the only person that he should be focused on of beating Lomachenko is himself. Not make too much of a big deal about who would have beat Lomachenko. Now you're shitting on your own fucking pay-per-view. Or your your own, you know, your own moment. Your own the fight that you're about to go in there and fight. So, you know, you got to use common sense, people. That's all. He never said that. So that was a complete lie. A complete lie. He never said that shit. And so the other guys, anybody, if they reposted that video or if they spoke about it, trust me, it's clickbait. And once you click on the same shit I'm telling you now, I guarantee you this is what they're going to tell you unless they lie to you about some shit because I know the interview they're talking about. And it wasn't on any of their channels. It wasn't their platforms. They have access to it or, you know, whatever they're doing. Maybe they listen to the audio. Who knows? I don't know. But he never said that. So get that out your mind. He never said anything about Floyd can't, can't couldn't beat Lomachenko. It's a complete lie. He said, no, nah, I don't know about all that. He he didn't want to make too much of a, a big deal about it. You know, he was asked a question. He didn't bring anything up, and he never said it. Okay, and, you know, in the comment that he made, he never said that Lomachenko's an amateur. He said, no, he had a lot of amateur fights, and people still talking about it. So when I said I'm fighting the amateur, because they, they talk about everything he did way back. It's, kind of, it's like they're, try, they're making it sound like... Like I don't, even, Lomachenko don't even have like twenty five fights altogether, right? Like 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 his, his this people got way more fights than Loma, but they're speaking about Loma. Like the thing is this too, we watch Loma lose to Tiafimo. Why is everybody talking about what he's gonna do to Devin Haney as if like Loma is is invincible, like he's undefeated when he's not? And then we've seen him have certain fights, like him struggling with Linares. We've seen several different fights where even when he gets dropped, okay, he's won those fights, and that's what matters. We know his style of trying to wear you down and make you overexert yourself and then try to come back and take over. We know that. We know he's a smart fighter. But at the same time, just saying, they want to talk like Lomachenko has no weaknesses, like he's just the perfect fighter and like the Tiafimo Lopez fight never happened. All right. This isn't about who I think. I'm not care. I don't care about telling who's going to win. I already, I already told you guys who I think is going to win. And how I believe the fight's going to go. I'm not talk, telling you this to change your mind about who you think is going to win. I don't care who you think is going to win. I don't care about who I think is going to win. I just bring the logic out of what's being said and how people are looking at things. I'll just say my point. You say your point. Cool. I'm not telling you you're wrong about who you think is going to win. And that's that's fine. I'm never trying to change your mind about who you think is going to win. But when you say unrealistic shit and you're just repeating what somebody else said, but it sounds good to you because it favors the person you like, it still doesn't make it uh, logical. It doesn't even make a lot of half of the shit don't even make sense that people say. So yeah, he never said that. Now, finally, I want to say this. And this is the last thing I want to talk about in this video. The point of Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua fighting. Most people think that the winner will get a title shot with either Usyk or with Fury. Now, if Tyson, if 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 Anthony Joshua wins, I'd rather see him fight Fury because we've seen him do this song and dance with Usyk already. If Wilder was to win, I'd rather see him fight Usyk because we've seen him and Fury do this song and dance already. I don't want to hear this shit about AJ shouldn't fight Wilder. He should wait and all this dumb shit. No, these fights need to happen. Neither one of them are getting any younger. And if there's going to be a fight 
There's no guarantee. Nobody nobody said it's going to be a fight before that. We were hearing rumors. I don't know if it's true that DeZone was wanting to get AJ in the ring before December. You know, I think they were sitting around August and then back again in December. Okay. I don't see that that happening. And the reason is because they've announced a December date. You know, that would be terrible business to announce a December date and not a date before that. Which is what you're trying to gun for Because if he went in there And fought in August And then got his ass whooped That would I mean <laughs> That would completely jeopardize The August the, the, the December date Against Wilder Now wouldn't it So You can't believe shit That you hear Just because it sounds good You gotta think And use your common sense So We don't even know That it's gonna be Wilder We just keep hearing Rumor and speculation But my thing is this AJ's what 33, 34 Wilder's like What 37, 38 no, fuck that 30. Say he's at least 38 now. At least. Same thing. You know, how much longer do these guys have left? And if the fight is going to happen and, and it's like the, the point of it, it's not the action pack exciting fight that people thought it was going to be. Or just bottom line, not a good fight. Just let's say it that way. Then what's the purpose? What's the purpose? So if this fight is going to happen. I don't see no fucking AJ need to fight two or three people. No, fuck that. AJ's no fucking, no, 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 no beginner. Wilder's no beginner. They've been here for a while. What needs to happen? Like, we just got word the other day. I forgot what day it was, but like, I, uh, maybe the weekend or something like that, that, you know, AJ arrived in Texas to start training. Now, people will say to start training for Wilder. We don't know that. So, I'm going to say, He's training, but for who, we don't know. And if it is Wilder, I find it strange that people are saying that when Anthony Joshua has never said he's in training camp for um, Wilder. In fact, Derek James said the same shit that, nah, I haven't even been training him for, to fight Wilder. He even said that. Same way how Sugar Javon Sugar Hill said there was no training camp going on for, with Tyson Fury to fight Usyk So that, that whole shit So the same thing With his people saying this And if Wilder and AJ was going to fight Wouldn't both sides be saying the same shit And all the interviews that Eddie Hearn does Wouldn't Eddie Hearn be saying Oh the fight's on Wilder he's a promoter Of course he'd be saying it You don't think Shelly Finkel and all these people Wilder, You don't think him and you know Malik Scott They'd all be saying yep the fight is on in December So you know, people just hear shit because that that's what they, they want to believe it. They start repeating it. I don't know who Wilder, uh, who um, Anthony Joshua is planning to fight, whether it's Wilder or whoever, you know, um, I don't know. The only thing we can do is just see what develops in the coming weeks. But that fight needs to happen, win, lose, or draw. This is something that needs to happen in 2023. Not no 2024, 2024. What's, what's the wait for? What is the what is the purpose of the wait? For what? So, yeah, I mean, and then what happens if, if Wilder fights somebody else or AJ fights somebody else and they lose? Then what? What do they fucking lose? So you got to think, you know, be smart. Be smart. And I don't think anybody want to see, I know I don't want to see AJ fight some meatball. And AJ already made it clear he don't want to fight any easy fights. Because I heard somebody make that suggestion that, oh, they could have Wilder and, and AJ fight on the same card against lesser opponents as warm-ups, and then they, that, that would be stupid. What if one of them get injured? Do you, do you guys, you got to think. What if they get injured? And how many times has Wilder already broken his fucking um, his, um left fucking hand? <laughs> so you, you, you got to, or right hand or whatever, you know, but just saying, you got to think. I don't know that this is the fight that's happening. So I'm not making videos, putting up thumbnails, trying to, you know, persuade you guys to believe something is real when I don't even know that it's real. You know, I don't know that it's real. You know, you don't have a fucking a, 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 a legacy fight, man. And then only, you know, one guy saying it. And AJ made a comment. I believe that there was negotiations. We heard about it was trying to put something together for Saudi. But what I'm saying and and yeah, I believe, yeah, we heard that it was supposed to be Wilder versus AJ in, in Usyk versus Fury. But we never got any confirmation that yeah, it's on. It's actually happening. So people are making videos to get you guys' attention. I haven't heard anything solid. 
And just last week, I think it was, Derek James said that there's no training camp between for AJ and Wilder. So I know there's no fight that's on the table. Like, no, it's actually happening. So staying in the gym, man, you, what the fuck you think these fighters do? Sit on their ass and just wait till a fight come up, then train? No, you want to keep fit, want to keep sharp, want to keep your weight right. So, yeah, I mean, these guys are training, man. I mean, you, you see Wilder and Malik Scott always ringside sitting there, you know, training. He's, you know, doing it, whatever, you know, going through the drills and all that. That doesn't mean that, that it's an actual fight on the horizon. So, but the fight needs to happen. It needs to happen, and they need to make these fights happen ASAP. And as I said in, in, in the previous video, AJ and Wilder don't need Fury and Usyk on the same card. I mean, that would be great if the Saudis could have pulled that off. But again, Greedy Belly, no, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to share the wealth. So, at the end of the day, as far as I know, all these different guys in the gym training at times. You know, AJ, for what we understand, is pretty much training on, on a more regular, probably more than the rest of them. Okay, but at the end of the day. That's still wear and tearing your body. And then for what? Where's the reward? The reward is the fight. So, yeah, just saying this is a fight that needs to happen. And people need to stop making up these freaking false videos. These lying on these thumbnails just to get you guys to click the video. Just to tell you that, well, they lie. They lie. <laughs> Yeah, it has to be going on because if you notice, you know, Ty, uh, AJ just got back to Texas and he starts training right away. And, you know, for um, if you've seen Malik Scott and, 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 and Wilder and you notice Wilder's been saying this and, and all this shit, man, listen, all we hear is yada, yada, he said, she said, but no contract has been signed. No venue has been fucking uh, 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 um, posted as being used. No date, no nothing. No press conference, nothing, no announcement, just speculation and talk. Now, if that fight is going to materialize, as I said, it should be sooner than later. With or without Fury and Usyk, Wilder versus AJ is a pay-per-view main event. Simple as that. Talk to me in the comment section. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people, and I will catch you all in the next video.